Welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm Nora Shabazi, and I'm going to be teaching you all kinds of wonderful things um, that will help make you a better reader, writer, and speller. I um, had seven years of college education. I was a neonatal intensive care nurse, and um, I was always a really great reader and speller and writer. And because of the Ebly activities and strategies and concepts that I'm going to teach you, I am even faster at reading, better at spelling, and even better at writing. So I want to make your life easier. Now, if you do not have a whiteboard, you're going to want one that's um, about this big. It's going to be a little bit bigger, and there's going to be a link in the introduction video where you can go and get those. So if you don't have a whiteboard right now, um, go ahead and stop the video and get at least a whiteboard. Some people, you know, you can even write on a picture frame on the glass or something like that, but you're going to need a whiteboard to write on. And, um, and a marker and an eraser also. So sometimes I talk a little bit fast. I'm going to go a little faster as opposed to slower. So if I'm going too fast for you and you're like, wait a minute, I need time to think or process on this, go ahead and just pause the video. All right, you can just stop it and then rewind it and go back and listen again. Another thing you're going to want to do, um, and you can watch these videos to watch the videos or the lessons over another time. Okay, so you can always go back to them. They do go in order. So you're going to want to start at this one, of course, here you are, and then keep going in order. Don't skip around because the, the activities and the lessons will build on each other. Okay, so if you are ready, go ahead and get your marker and your whiteboard and we will get going. <clears throat> So the first thing I'm going to do is show you some interesting things about the English language that I didn't know until I was 35 years old. Okay, so these are going to be with words that you know how to read and spell, okay, most likely. And that's not why I'm showing you this. I want to show you an interesting concept with this. Now, what's really, really the most important thing is every time your marker hits the board when you're writing either a line or a letter is that your mouth says the sound at exactly the same time you're writing either the line or the letter or letters. And I'll remind you of that too, okay? I don't want you to go ahead. If you think, oh, I'm just going to write these words down. I know these. Don't go ahead of where I'm at. Follow my instructions exactly because there's a purpose for every single thing I do, okay? So just follow me, don't bop ahead. I'll tell you anything that you need and we're gonna have a great time. All right, are you ready? So now when I ask you something, obviously I can't hear you because this is a video, but when I ask you something, I need the words to come out or the sound to come out of your mouth, okay? Because when it comes out of your mouth, it's going into your brain. So you're seeing it, you're hearing it, you're saying it, and when we're gonna be writing, you'll be touching it to help your brain learn what's called the code, the, the code that we use um, in English to read and to write, okay? So really important. Of course, I won't know if you're saying that sound, but it's important for you to to do that I and mean, you're probably hanging out by yourself or, or in a room on your own or just with a few people so be sure you say those sounds nice and clear okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put lines down for some words so i want you to go toward the top of your whiteboard and we're going to put lines down for the sounds in the word up what's the first sound you say in up all right now that first sound is uh you might have said you right which is smart because that's the name of the letter but when we read and spell we're using the sounds because what we're doing here is taking the words coming out of our mouth separating them to sounds and then we're going to put spellings to them okay so we want the sound not the letter name so you're going to draw a line like me and say uh all right you got it did you say uh no letters still okay that's important what's the next sound over here in up this is a p Kind of a fun sound draw a line and say p. all right so that's those are our placeholders for the sounds and up no letters the next word is t what's the first sound that you say in the word t okay now oftentimes i hear t here right because that's a letter name every consonant letter name so b c d f g every single consonant letter name is at least two sounds and t is two sounds t e so what's our first sound in t that is t so draw a line here and say t what's the next sound over here in t this is e draw a line and say e all right your board should look just like mine two lines and then two right below them our next word is earn what's the first sound in earn what do you say first? That's er. Draw that line and say er. What's our next sound over here in earn? This one is n. Draw that line and say n. Beautiful. 
Our last word down here is way. Now there's a lot of different ways and it doesn't matter which one because they all have the same sound. So no worries about that yet. What's the first sound in way? What do you, what does your mouth say first? Your ears here. That's a w. Draw a line and say w. You're doing awesome. What's your next sound here in way? This one is a. Draw that line and say a. So the fact that we're interacting helps you learn faster and, and get this better than just listening or watching me, right? So good job. Now watch me first. I'm going to do this first word and then you're going to do it, okay? So you don't do anything but watch at this point. Here is the word up. You do not need to write it. This is the word up. So now from this day forward, I want you to say the sounds as you write the letter or group of letters that represent the sound. Pretty soon you'll fade away from that as you get more automatic at learning and knowing this code. But for now, right as your hand is writing, not before, not after, but exactly as your hand is writing, I want your mouth to say the sound. Watch me first and then you're gonna do it. It looks and sounds like this. Uh. Now you notice when I pull my marker off the board, I stop my mouth. Okay, that's important too. We don't want to kind of sing song it. We want to be nice and crisp and clear. Uh, and then p, up. Now on your board, I want you to go ahead and say the sounds as you write up. Say those nice and clear. Uh, p. You got it? Yours should look like mine. Our next word is T. You do not need to write this. T, what's our first sound in T? This is a T. Say as you write T. What's the next sound you hear over here in T? Yeah, this is E. So if you look at our word, how many letters do you think are gonna go on that line to spell E? One or two, what do you think? All right, so have that in your mind. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Every single letter in every word is part of a spelling for a sound. So we have to use all the letters, even though we were like, why are some of those in there, right? So this is your spelling for E. How many letters? There's two. Exactly. So write both of these letters on one line and say E. Beautiful. T E T. So even though there's three letters, there's just two sounds in this word. All right. You got it. Did you say those sounds? Be sure you say those sounds. It's a habit that's a little awkward and weird at first, but the more you do it, it just becomes automatic. All good readers, writers, and spellers do that, especially with longer words. All right. Otherwise we would spell them wrong because you can't memorize all those words, especially for spelling. Here's our word earn. This is the one, how much money do you earn? So what's the first sound that your mouth says in earn? What do you say first? <clears throat> That's right. Now, some of you might have said eh or e because you see this letter over here, right? But if we're paying attention to what our ears hear our mouth say, and we're saying earn, this is er, all right? Now, look at this word, and how many letters do you think we're going to put on this line for er? Go ahead and think about that. How many letters do you think we're gonna write? Don't write them just yet. All right, you might've been thinking one or two or three, right? This is our er, all three of those. So I want you to write all three of those letters as your mouth says er, er. What's our next sound over here in earn? This one is a n, so say as you write that n. These ones are pretty straightforward, right? We learned those early typically. So, but these ones are not, are a little bit more unusual and we haven't thought about them this way. Here is the word weigh, like how much do you weigh? Some, you know, having to do with weight. What's the first sound in weigh? What do we say first? This is a w. So say that sound as you write w, w. What's our next sound in weigh? Yeah, we're hearing a, right? Now, if you look at this word, there isn't even the letter a in there because the letters are not what we're more as interested in it as much as the symbols. Sometimes um, the symbols are going to be very different than what you would think. So how many letters spell A? It's all of these, all four of those. So you're going to write all four of those and say A out of your mouth as you write it. Let's hear you. A. Beautiful. Way. So the reason I showed you this is because I want to show you something that most children, teens, adults, teachers even, don't know okay, or haven't ever thought about before. And that is in English, when a sound comes out of our mouth, a sound can be spelled with one letter, a sound can be spelled with two letters, a sound can be spelled with three letters, and a sound can be spelled with four letters. So one, two, three, four letters, one sound out of our, uh, out of our mouth, right? So all of these words have two sounds, even though they have up to five letters. So that's the first concept that makes English a little bit tricky right? A little bit unusual. And we're going to look at this all throughout all of the lessons that we do. 
okay? Because it's woven all throughout everything that we do with reading and spelling, okay? Now, um, in the description below, there is a link and um, under this first lesson, there is an article called um, something about Sequoia, which is uh, who created an alphabetic system for the Cherokee Nation and taught the entire Cherokee Nation to read um, in a matter of weeks all across the country, actually. Uh, it's a fascinating story. And there's also a video of me reading the article, so you can kind of follow along too if you're, if you're wanting to watch that. But it's a really fascinating story about how this English alphabetic code of ours, um, you know, is a code for the, the sounds that we're saying, and that's really pretty important. So I want you also, if you would, I want you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because we're going to be every week um, putting out a few lessons and they, you know, again, build on each other. If you know of other people, if you have friends or family or anybody that you think would be interested in these, please share with them because the more people that watch these, the better. And also like it if you would like to, because that helps more people see it. And thanks so much for being here for this lesson. I'll see you on the next one.